The Excel timesheet that we've been looking at for timestamps of in and out recording for attendance or other purposes will also work in Google Sheets. They have now changed it so that it will work just directly. You can upload it into Google Sheets. Uh, I've brought it in here. This is my example one. I'll come into 1A and we'll have a look at that. So once I come in here and type in my code, it should then go away and do the VLOOKUP. There we go, it's brought it in, it's brought the name through from the VLOOKUP and it's given me my timestamp and you see we've got today's date sitting in there, the time that I'm working with. So uh, that's working now. To get this to work we need iterations turned on and that's fortunately now available for us in the spreadsheet settings here of Google Sheets. We come in here and we're going to click on calculation. There seems to be a new area here and here is where you're going to have to turn on your iterative calculation. So make sure that's on. I just have mine set to the defaults that comes through 50 and uh, this 0 0.05 seems to work quite nicely uh, and then you'll find that that timestamp will work. The now function that we're using to be able to set our timestamp will work. The only thing to be aware of with Google Sheets is that none of the protections will work so you can't stop people going in and clicking in any of these values and potentially changing them. You can set a new protection for a Google Sheet but it doesn't have the same sort of uh, security level that you get with the original Excel sheet. So I hope that helps for some people. Uh, I should also point out that this is working quite successfully in an iPad. Uh, if you load it into the Excel Office version of an iPad, it will work rather than just in the browser. If you're wanting to use a browser version, then you really need to come back to this Google Sheets version.